you're actually further along than if she completely acted like nothing or was overtly nice. You want simple action plans, but you want an ability to understand complex psychology and interactions when you're dealing with women. So I'll, I'll repeat that. You want a simple action plan because the action plan is not going to work if it's not simple enough. Okay. But you want the ability though, to have that understanding of what women are doing and how they're interacting, which can be very complex. So complex understandings, simple when it comes to action plan. All right. That's, that's the name of the game here. That being said, a lot of women overtly to somebody that makes them feel better when they do that to a guy who's a threat. She looks like a terrible person. If she does it to a guy who's not a threat, when I say a threat again, I mean a threat, of her sleeping with that guy. <laughs> All right. So if she's acting that way towards you, and again, assuming that you didn't come up and do some creepy stuff to creep her out and make her uncomfortable or insult or upset her, right. Then that's a different story now, but assuming that's not what happened, her being overtly like, ew, you know, like, ew, like some of these young girls act like sometimes to, to dudes. That means that you're attractive enough to be considered a threat, <laughs> All right? You may even be super Chad that she's trying to increase her value and her perceptions, the perception of value by acting grossed out by the hotter guy, which they do that too, by the way. Oh, well, you're a misogynist. I would never go with you, you know, <laughs> or something like that or whatever. Or you're, you're, oh, you're, uh, you know, <laughs> you're, you obviously spent a lot of time in the gym. You must be egotistical. I'd never go with you. Really, she's dripping down there and she's worried about going with you, right? So when a girl's having a negative emotional reaction to you, that's a reaction, a neutral or you're a bug on a wall kind of reaction. Or a super like, oh, oh, like you're like super nice, like overly, overly nice reaction means that you're not a threat to her reproductive value, not danger in terms of physical, of course, right? Which you don't want to ever be a physical danger. She wants to know, of course, you have the ability to do damage physically as a, as a, as a man, but she doesn't want to feel threatened by you. Okay. Uh, generally. <laughs> few exceptions there's some crazy ones out there but for the most part right but she 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 you know it's a sexual threat meaning right time right place she might do you and she doesn't know if that's a good idea maybe you're too hot and you're going to discard her alpha widower for life <laughs> okay and so she has to put up a defense mechanism or or maybe maybe you know she doesn't think that you're the best she can do but you're still someone she would sleep with so when she acts you're actually further along than if she completely acted like nothing or was overtly nice. You see, an extreme emotion means that there's still something there. Now, again, assuming that you're not a physical threat and that she's reacting in an extreme way to get you away from her because of the danger, okay, which I hope that's not a situation, but assuming that that's not it, there is, you're on the attractiveness scale. You're not off the scale in the low categories where she would feel like a bad person and look like a bad person in front of everybody by acting that way towards you. In fact, the more alpha you are and the more attractive you are, sometimes the more they think they can get away with acting bitchy towards you because that you're perceived, you know, considering let's assume you're in a new place and you don't, you know, you don't have those social circles there and people don't know you. Obviously, the more alpha dude, a more attractive guy is the bigger threat in any sense. They're a bigger threat to the other males. They're a bigger threat in both, both in terms of sa you know, safety, ability to beat their ass maybe, but also in terms of the ability to be able to get women that they can't get. And so, and then they're maybe a reproductive threat to the women because, hey, they'd have sex with them and leave them, right? Or whatever. And so it's more acceptable sometimes for these women to act bitchy to guys that are seen as threat. As long as those guys are not like status for, so for example, 
if the guy was like, you know, think of a celebrity, I don't know, Chris Pratt or something, right? Some celebrity, right? That's that girl's like, and it's pretty witty and all that. Okay. Like, yeah, she's not going to act that way to him because he's a recognizable celebrity. She would look like a bad chimp. So st- high status, a guy in the community that everybody likes, even though he might be the alpha guy, she's not going to act that way to that guy because that wouldn't be acceptable. But somebody who she doesn't know and isn't known as a status feature of that area, she sometimes will, will feel like she can get away with acting extra bitchy to that guy to give her own self a social proof. They like to tell you no. The guys that she would sleep with, there's something about them that makes them say yes. And then there's everybody else that she likes to get the attention from, but she says no to. And by saying no, it boosts her self-esteem and boosts her confidence. And then there's the lower level that any interaction with those guys, other than I'm a nice chimpanzee kind person interaction or completely ignoring them is not something that would help them or boost their self-esteem. You know, and sometimes women will get angry at the audacity of an unattractive guy like talking to him. So it could be that. But if she's showing this interest, though, see, because if it was nothing and then you're like, hey, and she's like, get away from me. She's just she could you could have been in the, you know, the incel category, not that you're an incel, but in her mind. And how dare you have the audacity to even talk to me to have that level of confidence. Right. So if you're down there. And she's just like, it makes her question her own SMV. So she's mad at that you even did that if you're down there. But that's if you went up and there was nothing and you're DMing her right, and whatever, or let's say take it out of DMs, you could approach her and she's just like, ew, like get away from me, right? And there was no indicators of interest, nothing, no interest. She might see you in that lower category or whatever, which again, it's her opinion, doesn't matter. You can't let it bother you. But she might have seen you in that low enough category where your attention was like re- repulsive to her for some reason, right? But if she is been doing things to indicate some interest or sort of draw you in, in the case of checking your DM, you che- checking your stories all the time, stalking your page, you're not that down there. You're here. Unless you scared the crap out of this girl and she's trying to keep tabs on you so you know because she thinks you're a threat you're in the category of attractive enough for her to feel good rejecting you (laughs) okay sad to say but that's how they are and this is just the way it is you know so you you're attractive enough to where she could use you for the clout whether it's just in her head or whether it's overtly and she can say oh i got these guys dming me that i can reject I mean, no girl wants nobody trying to hit on her as much as they bitch about that kind of stuff. No girl wants that. That means that they're just unattractive. They're not on the map at all, right? That's not good for them. They want dudes to try to hit them up so that they can reject them. And the the guys that they would do that with, they want the guys who are attractive enough to where they reject them and they feel good about that rejection. They feel like their self-esteem is boosted from that. So then they can go and meet the guys that they would sleep with. 